as a visual tribute to Hoot Gibson, I'm wearing my crimson jacket. Not as colorful um, as the jackets that Hoot is legendary for, but again, a reflection of our esteem and recognition for the significant contributions he made to Washington State University. So when we think of someone who has made an indelible imprint on our university, he clearly heads the list. If I were to say what who did for Washington State, he made a difference. He was certainly a, a leader and a, and a fireball and one who was absolutely dedicated to the welfare of Washington State University. He was interviewed in 1996 and he said, WSU opened new vistas to me. It got me started on a long trip to the great outside world. He really had great vision for WSU. I think everyone admired him. Everyone just admired him. He came from humble beginnings. Weldon Bailey Gibson grew up in a poor cotton farming district near El Dorado, Texas. His classmates called him Hoot, after famous Western actor Hoot Gibson. His uncle Buck was largely responsible for Hoot coming to Washington State College in 1934. Well, Arthur Buckner Bailey was a legendary coach for Washington State, both in football and in baseball, and known as kind of the town character. Buck kept good on his promise to Hoot's mother that he would get the boy a college education. So they drove straight through from El Dorado to Pullman, and Uncle Buck dropped 16-year-old Hoot off in front of Beta Theta Pi and told him to settle in. He played center for the Cougar football team. He was in the ROTC and the Crimson Circle, and he was very involved in students' rights. Hoot graduated from WSU with a business degree in 1938. He continued on to Stanford for his MBA and PhD. He also married Helen Mears and joined the Air Force, becoming its second youngest colonel. After World War II, he stepped fully onto the world stage when he helped found and became director of the Stanford Research Institute, later Stanford Research International. He played a key role in making that organization one of the largest independent nonprofit research and consulting firms in the world, which made him the likely choice to help WSU. When President Terrell had the idea of starting a, a foundation for the university and a approached Hoot Gibson, everybody said, oh, of course, that's the right person, and Hoot was behind the idea 100%. Barry Jones and Ken Michael Bust worked alongside Hoot in the early days of the foundation. He was a cougar true and true, and so he was able to bring in that perspective from, from the Research Institute, the love of WSU, end of the organization. He was the force. Without Hoot there would not be a foundation, I'm convinced. He had a vision to bring world prominence to Washington State University. What he really cared about was furthering the institution for the long term. It wasn't raising money just to raise money, it was raising money for the betterment of the world. He was the idea man. He was amongst those first visionary leaders that um, saw a need for scholarship support at Washington State University. He was a motivator. No, he pushed nicely. That was his way. Effectively, but nicely. And a hard worker. But you get in a meeting with him and it's time to knuckle down and, and uh, you know, it was a one, two, three, four, let's get things done. In the foundation's first year, 40 alums raised over $5 million, quite a feat in 1979. 30 years later, the foundation raised more than $106 million in fiscal year 2009. And over its 30-year history, 
has generated more than $1.2 billion to directly benefit WSU students, faculty, research, and other programs. I think he set the bar high and kind of showed us the way early on to, to, to be the success of the foundation. Yeah. Everyone just admired him because they knew who he was and the fact that he would take the time that he did on behalf of the foundation, uh, we were thankful and, and grateful for it. Hood received the foundation's highest honor, their Distinguished Volunteer Award in 1984. Today, the award bears his name, the Weldon B. Gibson Distinguished Volunteer Award. It is an extraordinary honor to have your name even uttered in the same sentence with Dr. Gibson. He is an iconic figure worldwide. When I received the award, I was just, just honored uh, and very humbly to be in that company. And of all the things that I've received in my life, that award I cherish and means the most to me. Dr. Gibson, you know, traveled the world and he met with heads of state and he used every opportunity that he had to communicate the value of a Washington State University education. So when he was thinking, how do I give back to my alma mater, he was able to go back to those connections that he'd made and say, oh, WSU is doing something in that area. Let me connect you with this person at WSU. Hoot helped turn an old cattle research barn into the current Alumni Center. All of the carpet in the public areas of the Alumni Center is that hand-tied Tai Ping carpet that he and Helen contributed. Besides being Hoot's wife and best friend, Helen was an artist. And we have a picture of the old barn before it was torn apart to make into a, a new one where she sat out in the, in the shrubs among one of the gardens and actually did the painting of that picture. Hoot made many trips to Asia, promoting Washington State University at every turn. But he also came back with something more than connections. The tailor had his measurements and he would just make him up these jackets. Some of them were really wildly brightly colored or brightly patterned and he would loan them to other people on occasion uh, even in sort of a spoof of himself and so he did have a good sense of humor. Hood and Helen Gibson gave generously to Washington State University, becoming laureates in 1998. Weldon Bailey Gibson passed away in 2001, leaving the foundation with a blueprint for success. As we go forward in the foundation, we have to keep the vision of Hoot Gibson in mind, which is always think to the future of the university. You know, what is the impact of what we do today on the future of WSU? Almost everything he touched, everything he belonged to, and everything he advocated was for improving Washington State University as one of the true land-grant top colleges. If Dr. Gibson were here today, I think he would reflect back on his farm boy roots in Texas and uh, tell our alumni and friends to hitch their wagons to one of WSU's big ideas and then use their passion and commitment to those ideas to communicate that to everyone they know. If we could emulate some of the things that Hoot said, did, thought, then I think we would be giving the, the uh, proper respect to Hoot that he deserves. I wish it were possible to come back in 15 or 20 years and to see this institution. It will certainly have been advanced in the ranking among institutions of uh, this country and uh, I think each of us and each of you can take great amount of pride and satisfaction on what you have done and then what you will have done in building the institution. It will be important. <laughs>